Hello friends and welcome to AS Education. In the last video, we have seen the basics of AutoCAD like drawing commands and modifying commands. And in today's video, we'll see how to give text to the drawing and basically how to create the layers also. Generally, layers can be used for different lines that we are going to use in projecting different lines or planes. So we'll start with the layers first. So the command for layer that is you can type layers L A Y E R it's simply L A and then press enter. So one window will get open on your screen. And by default there you can see one layer is already made by name zero. I'll create four more layers. One, two, three and four. Layer one I'm creating for a continuous line. The continuous line generally is used whenever you want to draw the lines which are directly visible to your eyes. Or it is also called the dark lines. The line type of this line would be always continuous one. The second layer I'm creating that is what projection line to take projections or reference from one one view to another view. Generally at the end we are supposed to turn off this layer because it is just used for references itself. The line type of this line is continuous only. So I just want different color for this projection line. So I'm using blue color so that we can distinguish between continuous line and projection line. The next line would be the center line or axis line. Generally to locate the center or to locate the axis of what cylinder itself. But the line type of the center line would be different. So click on this line type that is continuous. Click on the continuous. Here in this new window also I am not getting center line. So I'll load command. I'll click on the load and just go ahead to find the center here. Just scroll it down. You can find center. Just select the center and then click OK. In the next window, center has been loaded. So click the center and click OK. So you can see here the line type of center is center itself. Now it's time for creating what the new layer that is hidden or dotted line. The dotted line has line type of what hidden itself, which is not available in this window. So you have to load it from external. Just go ahead and search hidden here the way you did for center. Once you get this hidden, select it and click OK. Now in the in this window, hidden can be seen. So click select this hidden and click OK. Now these are what the four layers that we have just created continuous layer, projection layer, center and hidden. Now you close this. This way you have created all the layers continuous, hidden, projection and center. We will see how to use all these layers one by one. Now I want to create a rectangle within which the whole diagram should be should get fit. So that rectangle must be of type of what must be a shape of what the paper which you will be taking for printout. So I'm, I want to take a printout in A3 size paper. So I'll be creating a rectangle that will have the proportion of A3 paper itself. The size of A3 is nothing but 420 is the length. So I'm giving length as 420 and width is 297. So I'll press tab key. So 420 will get locked and height you can give here as what 297 and then press enter. So this rectangle is made of, of size 420 by 297. Right. Now every drawing has one title bar. So go creating rectangle again. But now this time I'm going to create this rectangle from this corner point right bottom corner point. And just I'm dragging the mouse on left hand side. I want to create the five rows. So this height should have multiples of five. 
so i'll give here uh, the distance length as let's say you can give 150 180 depends and the height i'm giving as 80 so i can create here what the lines here i'm going to draw one another line on that rectangle which i can copy so just copy that line select this line right click and left click on any one point and drag the mouse on downward direction now yes you want to give the distance because the total height was 80 and you want to let's say you want to create the five rows so 80 divided by 5 so it is answer is 16 so i'll just copy here by 16 first time i have given 16 second time i'll be giving 32 48 64 so this way i just created here number of times now let's say this is what the title bar you have just created here now you want to give the text to this title bar now if you want to give text inside this title bar you are supposed to choose multi-line text so within this capital a select this multi-line text it will ask you specify first corner point of the window so i'm going to click the first corner point of the window over here and second corner point of the window at this point within which i'm just going to give my text now here you are supposed to give the namings you can give your own name your college or organization name and all the information that is required to fulfill the drawing information once you fill this information you can just close it now here you can see your name is not visible the way it should be because the scale of this name is smaller so just double click on it and you can see the scale is right now it is 2.5 this is called text height now to increase the text height you must select this text first otherwise it won't work now after selecting this text now change the scale now i'm making it let's say seven and eight like that but trial and error you can just conclude it i think it is okay so i can now move this text while moving make this ortho mode off so that you can move it freely move command select this text right click and then using this left click you can mouse you can click whenever you want to place that text once it is done this way you can name all these parameters all your information you can fill in this title bar itself so guys uh, this is all about creating layers and giving multi-line text and all now let's see how to give dimensions and all let's say we have one circle here inside this rectangle and one rectangle is provided over here and i want to give the dimensions here you can click first corner point second corner point and just drag it downwards now this is what you can see the dimension is given for the rectangle but in this case this dimension is also not visible also i'm giving dimension to the circle so just you have to click on this circle just drag it outside generally dimension to the circle this should be given at an angle of 45 degree itself but i'm just whenever i'm just giving the dimension these dimensions cannot be seen properly so to modify it just press d and then enter and then go to the modify d for dimension enter and then click on the modify this is called extension line this is called dimension line whenever if you want to offset this line because you want to keep gap between this extension line and object line you can give, keep gap here so i'm keeping here 2 mm symbols and arrows because arrow size was not seen properly so i'm just increasing i'm just changing the scale here i'm just giving six and then i'm coming to this text text height i'm increasing from 2.5 to 6 and here i am choosing text alignment as iso standard 
dimension offset from dimension line means the text which is supposed to be placed above on this dimension line the distance here i'm giving 1 mm and in the primary units let's say you don't want decimal you want the round figure you can click on the zero if in no any other decimals are involved in your dimensions click ok set current and then close it so dimensions you can see exactly here so guys uh, this is all about this basics of AutoCAD where so guys in today's video we have just seen how to create different types of layers whether it is center continuous hidden or projection we'll see in the next video how to use all these layers also then we have seen how to give text to the drawing and also at the end we have seen how to set the dimension style while giving dimension to the objects in the diagram so guys i hope you understood the basics of autocad like including drawing commands modifying commands annotations and layers in the next video we'll start some orthographic projections using autocad so keep practicing and thank you